All right, it is Friday, it's 9.31. I still gotta get ready for work and all that fucking bullshit. But, it is Friday, so I hope you all enjoying your, your day. It's the beginning of the weekend and all that fucking bullshit. And I'd like to thank Blackstone Labs for sponsoring me, sponsoring this podcast. And you can get 20% off your entire order with B to the fourth power. Use the link in the bottom, promo code right there. They have all the great products. Like I said, I have a handful of them that I use. And they work great. Dust V2, Hype, and both of their branch chain amino acids. I do plan on getting one of their new ones, Juiced. It's got all the essential juices and vegetables and all that you need for daily health. All right? Uh, you got to take that in, into consideration with all that fucking shit. So, is what it is. Thank you to Blackstone Labs for sponsoring me, sponsoring this podcast. Links and everything in the bottom. Also, to JohnAndersonClothing.com. Thank you for sponsoring this podcast. All right, look at this hat. I love this hat. I've had it forever. And you know what? It's a great brand. Strong as fuck. On Instagram, you can get 10% off johnanderson.clothing.com with F Excuses 1910. Make sure you go check it out. They have great clothing, high quality materials, all that stuff. I love wearing their shirts. I love wearing their hats. All that stuff. And I'm a hat guy, so you already know this hat on point. So, thank you to them. But let's get into today's story. And this one's going to be a Friday flashback slash fucking old school what happened to me story. Well, one day I'm home from work. And, uh, you know, I used to live in uh, right next to a, um, a clinic. You know, like a, a health clinic. That's all it is. It's called Tavercio Vasquez. And I was right across the street from it. And, um, you know, a lot of cars parked in the block. It's busy during the day. I was usually never home during the day, so it didn't fucking matter to me. The time I'd get home, everyone would be gone. And I had plenty of fucking parking, especially on the fucking weekends. But this is what happened. As I'm in my garage working on whatever the fuck I'm working on, all right, I hear something. And when I hear something, you know, of course I'm going to fucking pop my fucking head out. So I look, and I see this guy walking by tosses a fucking bag into my yard. I'm like, what the fuck? He left before I could say anything? But what the fuck am I going to do? I'll go over there and grab that bag. And it's a nice looking bag. I grabbed this bag. Well, guess what? This bag had two DeWalt Sawzaws, all right? They had the fucking good blades, bat like there was extra batteries, all this stuff. And there was a catalytic converter inside the motherfucker, all right? And if you guys don't know what a catalytic converter is, catalytic converter, it's right before the muffler, before the tailpipe, as soon as the motor comes, as soon as the exhaust comes out of your car, there's a section. It's called the catalytic converter. It filters out. It's made to filter out exhaust and all that fucking shit. A lot of times you probably hear about people getting stolen from the bar or people just fucking cutting them off and all that stuff. Well, the reason they do it is because they're worth money or worth a lot of money. And it takes a lot of effort to cut these motherfuckers off because you got to get under the car, you got to hit that sawzall, and it just doesn't instantly fall off. You got to, but you know what I'm saying? It makes a lot of noise, draws a lot of attention, all that shit. Motherfuckers still do it. So, what ends up happening is I grabbed this bag. Well, guess what? I got two new sawzalls and I got this Cadillac converter. Cool for me. Don't give a fuck. This is my shit. Well, Later on in the day, as I'm just chilling in my house, I get this knock on the door. This fucking crackhead motherfucker, oh, you know, right at my door. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying he's a crackhead. I'm just saying that that's just how I, I view him as for stealing Cadillac converters. Because uh, that's some tweaker shit. Period. Alright. Well, this fucking dude is right at my fucking door. And he's like, oh, you know, I kind of like dropped the bag in your yard. I wanted to see if you found it or if it was right here. And I'm like, oh, I did find it. Yeah, I got me two new Sawzalls and this Cadillac converter. He's like, you know, the police were right there, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. This is my shit. This is mine. I own these motherfuckers now. You know, and he's like, uh, you know, like, like I said, he's already got that look of defeat in his face. He's already got that look of fuck. You know what I'm saying? Wrong yard. Exactly. Wrong fucking yard. You know what I'm saying? And it's not like I'm not shorter or smaller. I'm a fucking big dude. This dude's skinny as fuck. So he already knows there's like 
He can't argue the fact. He can't argue shit. He's just like stuck. He's like, you know, he's sitting there making up all these fucking excuses, saying all this fucking shit. And, you know, and he's just going off. And I'm like, all right, well, stone cold. I don't give a fuck. I know what you was doing, so why would I fucking help you? I know what I got now. You ain't got shit. Just because you got spooked ain't my fucking fault. So as this is gone, this conversation's going on, you know what I'm saying? He's trying to pull on my heartstrings, which he ain't gonna. You know what I'm saying? But he did tag me with something. He's all, you know that Cadillac converter I got? It's worth like 450 bucks, this and this and this. I'm like, oh, okay. Worth 450 bucks, huh? Prove it. So he takes me to a spot where they, where he literally takes me to a spot. <clears throat> we go to this mechanic shop. We show this guy the fucking Cadillac converter. Guy, okay, 450 bucks for this Cadillac converter. Hands me the cash, I hand him his sawzons, and you know what? I'm on my fucking day. That's just what it was. You know, he was like, he was more worried about getting them sawzons. I'm pretty sure he either borrowed them sawzons or took them sawzons from somebody he shouldn't have took, and he was like, I need to get these motherfuckers back. But, you know what I'm saying? He pulled on the right strings, I got my money, I'm happy, you know what I'm saying? I didn't give him shit, but his sawzons back. You know what I'm saying? Next scene, next time you know, don't fucking toss your shit in my fucking yard. You know what I'm saying? You just happened to talk the right kind of talk and handed me that fucking green. And I understand that so, that can like a river came from somebody's house, that somebody's car, but at the same time, that 450 bucks felt awfully good in my fucking pocket. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it is what it is. And it's just like the stories that used to happen back in the day. You know what I'm saying? This is like the shit that I lived around. This is the shit that happened to me. This is the shit that, you know... It's just crazy, you know what I'm saying? So, and I remember telling this story to Kristen a couple of days ago, and that's why I'm telling this one now, is because she was like, I don't remember hearing that one. That's funny as fuck. You know? And I'm like, oh, you know. Let, let me throw another old school one back there for y'all. All right? But you know what? It's Friday. I got to get ready for work. I got to fucking try to produce all this fucking shit and all that fucking good crap. Also, too, you know, I'm going to recommend... Is uh, Dave's Pop Culture Podcast. He just put out a podcast yesterday talking about all three movies he just watched recently. So, links in the bottom. Check it all the fuck out and all that good fucking shit. Also, too, thank Blackstone Labs. 20% off your entire motherfucking order. All right? All the links in the bottom. JohnAndersonClothing.com. Go check it out. Check out the Instagram. Check out his fucking his, his personal Instagram. This guy's a beast. He's motivating. All that fucking shit. All right, and he likes to use my favorite words, so guess what? We're two peas in a pod. We get along. But you know what I'm saying? I ain't never met him, but I'm just saying I felt we would. Also, too, it's Friday. So if fucking by some chance it's a holiday on Monday, which I'm not fucking paying attention. I ain't got a fucking calendar in my fucking hand. I don't know what the fuck's going on. If it's a fucking holiday, I'm like the fucking government. I don't fucking work on the motherfucking holidays, all right? Fuck that shit. Fuck that bullshit. I take them liberties. All right? Also, too, you want to watch the shit? IGTV, YouTube. You want to listen to it? Spreaker, SoundCloud, Stitcher, Spotify, fucking Podbean, Google Play, Apple Podcast, iTunes, all that fucking shit. All right? You can find this motherfucker everywhere. Like, share, subscribe, rate, review. Fucking, you know what? Everyone that I mention, everyone that I talk about, make sure you go do that for all of us because it helps us out like a motherfucker. All right? Y'all enjoy your motherfucking weekend. I'll see y'all motherfuckers on Monday, but if Monday's a holiday, too motherfucking bad because I just explained it to you. Fuck. <laughs>